Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to our channel. channel. And today, we're gonna talk about my awful experience buying a wedding dress in Mexico. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not sure what I'm doing here because I wasn't even there. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just gonna tell the story to you and to the audience at the same time. Okay, and I'm here to react to it. <laughs> Yannick hasn't seen me wearing a wedding dress ever because he doesn't want to until the wedding day. Exactly. Now, initially, I thought I'm gonna buy my dress in Mexico because we're gonna get married in Mexico. So I made appointments in three or four different stores here in San Luis Potosí. I'm not gonna say the name of the store. I don't know, I'll see if I say it later. But right now I don't wanna say it because I don't wanna cancel them. <laughs> cancel them. As if you're so powerful. Because I have, I have so, so much power <laughs> on the internet webs. <laughs> if I say one bad word, I know they're gonna be cancelled. They kind of deserve to be cancelled, to be honest. But okay, I'm just gonna. Okay. I'm just gonna tell you the story. Okay, okay, okay. The first place that I went to, I found a dress that I loved. The prices of the dresses were all below my budget or exactly where my budget was. Uh -huh. But sadly, my mom couldn't go that day because she had a lot of work and. I thought maybe this is the one, but I need my mom here. The next place is the place that was awful. Since I knew it was in the more like richer area of the city, I knew it was gonna be pricier, but I never imagined the prices I saw. The average is from 3,000 to 3,500 euros. What the hell? And it, for the ones in Mexico? Around 70,000 pesos. Okay. I didn't like any of the dresses in the store. They were all very traditional. Maybe they make sense for weddings like in a castle. <laughs> to me, they was a little outdated. So the opposite of sexy. The opposite of sexy. <laughs> You're gonna see my wedding dress. Oh my <laughs> God. God. It's just nipple covered thing. Getting, getting. <laughs> sure. The people there were really like, they would put you in as many dresses as you want. They were all about you, 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 you know, amazing. Uh -huh. My mom was, living her best life. We were there and she was like, buy it, buy it now. So you had one. I, f I found one there that was not too bad, but I didn't love it. Yeah. I never truly fell in love with it, but my mom loved it and my sister thought it was cool. If you've gone and try to try dresses, in most of them, they give you a dress that is pretty big. All of okay, the sizes yeah. for the samples are very big. Mm -hmm. In this store, what was different is that all of them were pretty small. In some of them, they barely had to do anything to make it tighter mm -hmm. to me. And I'm a pretty small You're chick. tiny. I'm super small. Chick. So I was like, this is weird. Why is it, Why are they so small? Uh -huh. And I asked the very nice woman that was helping me. And she said, oh, dude, cancellation. <laughs> oh, yeah. And she said, well, this store is made for a certain profile of girl. Okay. That's already starting bad, dude. Yeah, that's not a good And then she start. said, the owner is a guy. It's not even a woman. Uh -huh. This guy really wants a certain type of girl to shop here. So then I was immediately like, I'm not gonna buy anything here. Like, this sucks. Yeah. That's not inclusive at all. Even if I find something that fits me, uh -huh. it's just not fair. I didn't like that. Imagine how awful is it to go to a bridal store, uh, if you're bigger, uh -huh. and not be able to try the dresses. Yeah, it sucks. So she said, we do have like maybe five dresses in a huge store that are bigger in case they come here. They. they <laughs> so they can try them. But sometimes, oh God, she made everything worse. She continued okay. making everything worse. She said, sometimes like big girls come and they dare, they dare to say they want to try on a mermaid dress. Okay. That's that very tight one. You know, that's very tight to your body. And she said- That's like tight and then at the bottom goes- Yeah, out. in the bottom it goes open, side, but yeah. only like by the knees or yeah. so. Just doesn't look good. It wouldn't look good for the, for the store, for them. So it's better for us not to have dresses that they can try. Wow. I was like shocked out of my mind. Yeah, it's like I, so appalling. Yeah, but also like it was an older woman, the one that was helping me out. Maybe she's not as woke as the Gen Z. Woke. Like as us Gen Z people. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> but I was I was like really shocked and in that moment I really felt horrible for all the bigger girls that have gone there and felt yeah. horrible. Who knows what store. experience they had in that store. Probably awful experiences. Yeah. So I got pretty pissed and then I, I didn't tell her but I thought I'm not gonna buy anything here. 
Like, yeah. I don't care how nice they are. I don't care how many dresses. Also, I didn't like the dresses, to be honest. Even if you would find your perfect dress, you wouldn't buy it I wouldn't there. buy it there. I would look for another store. store. And the fact that it was a guy, a guy, yeah. the owner, judging women's bodies like yeah. that. Who the hell do you think you are? Man, yeah. I was so angry. <laughs> so, of course, my mom didn't hear any of that and my sister. But they got in and they were like, yes, buy the dress. And I'm and like, would, no. No way for I'm like, no, no, no. I just said I don't like anything. I left without buying anything. I went on a Facebook group from Brights. And you exposed them. I didn't write the name of the bridal store, but I told them, bro, has anybody had these experiences? Uh -huh. And man, the amount of comments that went so viral in that Facebook group, they kind of wanted me to say which store it was to bomb them and cancel mm -hmm. them and stuff. And uh, I, I just, I don't know, dude. It felt, I feel torn, you know? Like, yeah. I don't know if I should expose them or not. I have so much power. Oh my ah, god. I have so much power that I'm gonna make people lose their jobs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Se cree. Se cree. Se cree. <laughs> Me creo mucho. It was very heartbreaking to read all the comments on my post from girls that have had horrible experiences. And some of them, they don't <clears throat> even want, like they are dreading going to a bridal store. They are scared that they won't have any dresses that fit mm -hmm. them. That was an awful experience. So two things from my brain. Yeah. <laughs> now my question is, you only noticed the view of the store owner because you asked an yes. employee. I'm wondering if other people that go into the store realize it. Like she's super short. Okay. I feel like you're you're below average. Yes. Like with your height. Yes. So um, what are in Mexico? Okay, uh, there's a line. <laughs> Great. <laughs> no, in Mexico, I don't think I'm below average. Google it. One fifty-seven. The average is one fifty-eight to one sixty-four. Okay, so you're at the bottom line of the average. Yeah. So I'm wondering, what are people doing there that are just Bigger. Normal, like, normal. You're not normal. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Cancel. <laughs> oh my god, we cancel each no, other. No, no, no. Yeah, I know what you mean, though. Yeah, I hope you, you, you understand what I'm trying to say. Maybe nobody would notice. The thing was that I asked and that she was very honest. <laughs> you said the store has good reviews, so... Let me find I it I guess right not now. many other people figure that out. The, it has 4.3 in no. good reviews on Google. Okay, the bad reviews say... They have very little empathy and they lack tact. What a lousy place. <laughs> what a lousy place. Very bad attention to the client. You expect good attention and they only have small size dresses. Uh... Somebody realized they only have small size dresses and it says that she was treated badly. So I imagine she's a bigger girl. What the hell is up with that? So you're not the only one that noticed. Um, you can also leave a review if you want I'm to. I'm gonna leave a review if you wanna know which bridal store it was, go check out all the bridal stores in San Luis and find my review. <laughs> Great. But uh, also, I like, don't I don't want to get this woman in trouble too. Because of your power. <laughs> this video is over, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, now just has a dress. If you want to check out the vlog that we made when I went to a bridal store in Germany, to the bridal store where I bought my dress, then go to our vlogging channel. Give this video a like. So the algorithm picks it up. Leave and a comment. Support our channel. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Adios, muchachos. Cheers.